delicious looking painting was done by an artist named Wayne Thiebaud. He is best known for his paintings of cakes and pastries. Raise your hand to tell what you see in this painting. When you look at his paintings, you are reminded of the goodies in a bakery, a cafeteria, or a diner. Here are some other yummy looking paintings that he did. Raise your hand to tell what you see in this painting. Now raise your hand to tell why you think he made this painting. This is a self-portrait of Wayne Thiebaud. Even as a young boy, he loved to draw and paint. He worked at various jobs that helped him get better and better as an artist, including working as a cartoonist. He even worked for Walt Disney when he was in high school. As a teacher and a painter, he became interested in artists whose paintings looked realistic. He especially liked the work of Vermeer, Chardin, and Eakins, all whose paintings looked very realistic. Here is a still life of desserts painted by Wayne Thiebaud. He painted the desserts with basic geometric forms. These forms are one reason that the painting looks realistic. Raise your hand to tell where you see a cone, a cube, and a sphere. Thibault also used a variety of two-dimensional shapes in his paintings. Then there are all the lovely patterns and different kinds of lines that you can find on the painting. Raise your hand to show a pattern that you see. Today you will be drawing a decorated cake that gives us a clue about who you are and what things you like. First, the table helpers should get black pens, markers, and white paper for their table. When we're done, you will add the details that make the cake look special for you. Decide if you want a wide cake or a tall cake and turn your paper in the direction that would fit that cake the best. Now get ready to follow me as we draw together. Even though we know the top of the cake is a circle, from the side it looks more like an oval, or the real name is an ellipse. Near the top of your paper, draw an oval. If you make a mistake, don't worry about it. We can fix it when you're making the decorations. Next, put your pen on the side of the oval and draw a straight line down. When you're finished, put your pen on the other side of the oval and draw another straight line down. Next, put your pen at the bottom of one of the straight lines and draw a smile-shaped curve from one straight line to the other straight line. To start the next layer of the cake, put your pen on the side of one of the straight lines Draw an oval all the way around until it touches the straight line on the other side. Now repeat what we did before. To draw the side of the cake, draw a straight line from one side of that oval 
and draw another straight line on the other side of the oval. Connect those two straight lines with another smile shaped curve. If you're near the bottom of your paper, your next step will be to draw the plate that the cake is sitting on. If you have room for another layer, you will draw the next layer to your cake. They both start the same way. We put our pen on the side of the cake on the straight line, draw an oval until it touches the straight line on the other side. If you're drawing another layer to your cake, just keep repeating the steps until you get all the way to the bottom of the paper. Next it's time to decorate the cake to make it look like something you're interested in. What interest do you think this person had? What about this person? What kinds of things were they interested in? And what about this one? What was this person interested in? Decide on an idea for a cake that shows something about you. Use symbols, shapes, and patterns as part of your decorations. Draw them with your black pen. When you finish using your black pen, Begin coloring in with your colored markers. Make sure to not leave any white space and to work very neatly. At the end of class, share your work with the other students and see how they interpreted the work of Wayne Tebow.